This is the unboxing of the Rover USB rechargeable pivoting floodlight kit, 550 lumens. I purchased this from uh, Home Depot. It's a holiday special. Uh, the item number is 2114-21 uh, P as in Paul. Um, the difference between this one and the regular rover is that it comes with this uh, additional uh, power pack. So I will uh, open this and uh, comparing it to a couple other Milwaukee LED lights that I have. So this is the light, it has uh, 10 LED elements, it's very similar to the other uh, Milwaukee lights, uh, the charging port and the button. So when you turn it on, it goes to the strongest mode and then to the lower mode. So per Milwaukee, the first one is 550 lumens, which allows you to run it for two hours in a fully charged battery. And um, the medium is uh, 250 lumens. It allows you to run it for uh, four hours and uh, the low is 100 lumens and allows you to run it for 10 hours. It feels uh, super sturdy, just like other Milwaukee tools. And uh, it seems like uh, it should give you a lot of options in as far as how you position the light and attaching it uh, with a magnet. There should be a very strong magnet. They have these rubber um, padding here uh, hopefully if you attach it to something painted that doesn't scratch it and uh, obviously the battery is here so um, and this package came with an extra battery right here so that's nice it's obviously uh, sealed you see the uh, ring there um, so it's basically uh, resistant to water and dust Continue opening the package here. That's pretty much it. So we have the extra battery. So I have uh, additional two lights from Milwaukee that use the same uh, battery as this one. And uh, this one is the power pack. 
So this is uh, what you charge it, which is nice. This is where the battery goes. That's it. This doesn't look like it is sealed. So it has a charging port, a charging indicator. And uh, that's it. Uh, obviously, it comes with an instruction manual. So, you see here, uh, red flashing on the charging indicator. Red flashing is uh, zero to 10% remaining. Red solid is 10 to 25% remaining. And uh, orange solid is 25 to 80% remaining. Green solid is 80 to 100% remaining. And um, I noticed with other Milwaukee lights, when you turn it on, uh, the first time you turn it on, it shows you the color of the light as well to give you the indication. Um, and obviously for charging, um, red flashing is 0 to 25. Uh, and then orange flashing is 25 to 80. And then green flashing is 80 to 90%. Solid green is 99 to 100% charge. Red green flashing damage or faulty battery. Hopefully you don't get that. Okay. So here it is, the Rover 550 lumen package, special package that uh, again I purchased this from uh, Home Depot. Uh, it's holiday special. Extra battery, uh, power pack for charging. USB port, I love their USB, micro USB port uh, cables. They are uh, very nicely made and I've been using them for other charging other devices as well. And uh, the light itself. So um, I also have uh, this light, which uh, there's another video about this, uh, which I did uh, some time ago. Um, this has uh, eight elements here, and it is similar product. Again, same battery. You see here, you start kind of building your system if you have more than one device. This one is sealed as well. There is a uh, uh, sealing um, ring on it, so um, it doesn't... Uh, uh, allow water to get in. Uh, charging port, again, same thing. Charging port, color indicator uh, button here. Same thing as I mentioned. You see it's green, fully charged. Another, uh, and that's it. One, two, and dead. So this one has three, which is basically um, uh, one, two, three, and none. This one has two. One, to, um, the charging port is the same. This one has a magnet uh, right here. Uh, you see the magnet. I don't know if the camera is showing it or not, but here, here's the magnet sign, and there's a magnet right here. Uh, I've used this uh, regularly. It is one of my go-to lights, um, and uh, this magnet is stronger than this, uh, but I've been you know, using this in working in my cars or around the house. Um, it works really, really well. I've dropped it uh, more than a few times. Uh, you see some scuffs here. Um, no issues whatsoever. 
I've had it for a very long time, uh, for sure more than a year. And uh, this, I, this was my first Milwaukee light that I bought. And uh, after I bought this one, I went ahead and bought this one as well, which is this one is usually is marketed as a helmet light. Um, it gets attached to the helmet and exactly same system. You see here it rotates, same power button here. You get the two, none, two. This power on and off, the mode is here. Uh, you get the spotlight, all of them, all the three together, two, three, and the spot and off. So you have these two floodlights and then you have the spotlight in the middle. You could have all three of them together you could have the spotlight together, or you could have uh, the floodlight only with uh, multiple levels. So it's super handy. Uh, this is another light uh, I use, uh, I could say almost daily. Same thing, same charging port. You could see here, that's all exactly the same in all their lights, the charging port. Um, it's exactly the same. The power button is the same as well, depending the size could be smaller or bigger. And this one obviously rotates here, depending how you wear it. Um, and then uh, you could actually detach it if you want. Uh, you could use it, but it doesn't have a magnet, obviously. And um, you could uh, open it and exactly same idea again. Same light, obviously it is sealed as well. Uh, the battery is here, uh, same exact battery, same system, you put it back on, and that's it. Um, yeah, big fan of these lights, um, they uh, their uh, LED color is what the Milwaukee calls uh, true color. Uh, and uh, it is basically, it gives you uh, a natural view of the area you're working on because of the uh, color temperature that they have. You can see here, it shows uh, signs of use because I use it a lot. Um, it's very handy, uh, especially the different modes of light that it has. Uh, this is a spot, this one, all three of them. This is just the two floodlight high mode, lower mode, lower mode, and spotlight by itself. And again, all three together. Um, so yeah, this is the new member to the family. I could imagine this magnet is super strong, obviously. Yep, you see that, super strong. Um, See this one, it is strong as well. This one is less strong. But this one for sure is a lot stronger than the other one. So both of those combined, if you attach it, I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. And I like this a lot. So uh, even if you go camping or uh, use it for other activities, this is gonna come super handy. Uh, I like this kind of cut here that they have, kind of in the middle, to know where to balance it. Uh, so, here it goes. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching.